look really nice tonight. Thank you, you look good too. Oh, thank you, you know, try to clean up as nice as you do. So, um, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here at Hip Hop International. HHI brought me down to be a judge for the USA competition, and it's been amazing. It's so fun. Um, I'm actually the performance side of the judge. So. Performance side. So what does that mean in terms of um, scoring? In HHI, they break it down into two. So they have skill and performance. And one is also, like skill is obviously like the technique, and performance is more like the showmanship and the creativity and the audience and how everything reacts to them, performance. Nice. Now in the preliminaries, uh, you did which? Uh, was it juniors varsity? I did juniors and varsity. Okay. Were there any crews that really just stuck out to you? Maybe you haven't seen um, that you have? I have seen them, but they stuck out to me because they got so much better than when I last saw them, and that was mini audits. I They've obviously always been dope for kids because um, they're under the direction of Dumbo and Corey Addicts, so of course right. they're going to be dope. <laughs> but um, I saw them at the ABDC audition. And they were good, but it doesn't compare to what they were right. yesterday. It was ridiculous, and it wasn't like one of those where you say, oh, they were good for kids. They were just good. Yeah, they stepped it up as a yeah. They were amazing. So I'm like really, really looking forward. But tonight's a whole new night, so I'm not judging off yesterday. <laughs> so I can't, you know, they got, they got to bring it every night. So. And they switch you all around too, which kind of keeps the... Yeah, we'll have a judges meeting and discuss more stuff. And <laughs> Pick a number out of the hat. <laughs> Nice. Now you're going to be taking off early, though. Um, explain kind of what you're going to be doing soon. Um, a couple things. I have to. I don't get to stay for Worlds, which I'm super sad about. But um, the good news is I'm leaving because I have a lot of stuff going on. Um, I do stuff uh, for the Emmy Awards, and the Emmys is in September, so it's like a really busy season right now. A lot of judging panels. Um, and then with the crew, we're actually performing at the LA area Emmys, and the LA area Emmys are basically the Emmy Awards for local in Los Angeles, so newscasts and that kind of stuff. Um, so we're the opening number, and the LA Emmys have never had a performance like the actual Emmys, so this will be new for it. So I'm really excited to have the crew for, perform for that, and then we're going to Hong Kong in August, and then the last thing we have coming up right now is um, where he is performing at USC again. We've gone there every like back to school time, and this will be our third year, so we love cool. USC. It's love like it. a tradition now. Yeah, now we're on board. <laughs> Not a college student, but I'll pretend I am going to USC. <laughs> there you go. That's awesome. So since you guys have been champions, and there have been obviously new champions and stuff, uh, were you able to go back uh, this season? Yeah. Um, luckily, I got to go back a lot. After my season, I got to go back as a solo and be the face of the New Orleans Bounce. Okay. So that was fun in the top three. And then um, we did the Champions for Charity episode. That was after season five, and that was my Wonder Woman. <laughs> Get up. And then, um, we will. <laughs> <laughs> and then for season six, we went back and did Who Run the World, which was one of my all time favorite performances. And then last season, that just finished, we got to go back with Nate Flavis. So it's been such a journey. Like, it didn't stop by winning. We just keep getting going back. And then outside of performing, I've been able to do a lot of hosting. Um, like blogging best dance crew and sometimes Pacific Rim, so I, I like that too. <laughs> so ABDC has just been a huge journey for me. Definitely. I think um, one of the connections that you and I have had is uh, Idaho, since you're from there. Yes. And uh, just kind of going back and giving back, um, talk about just what you, you've done workshops there, I'm sure you're planning to go more. Um, talk about how that kind of keeps you, your foundations and grounded. Yeah, um, so I have the career, then I have the Emmys, and the third thing I do as a solo is um, I go and teach a lot, but within my classes I made this whole um, motivational type inspirational Dream Believe Achieve app, and it's mostly um, for not just dancers, it's geared towards everybody no matter what age you're at or what where you're at in your life, to just find something you're passionate about and to go after it and keep going until you actually get it, and um, it obviously goes way more in depth and detail. But um, it's put, it's geared into my master class and workshops. And within that, I've got to do things like speak at my high school graduation and the commencement speaker, which was just a huge deal for me because the, there, like, they've only had, you know, mayors and doctors, 
floors with big name people and no young dancers. So that was a huge um, stepping stone for me. And I was more nervous to do that than going on Oprah. Like it was ridiculous. Um, but it was. Or sitting in the seat with me. Right? Yeah, I'm it's really tough. nervous She's right sweating now. sweating a little bit, sorry. <laughs> but, so yeah, I've just been teaching a lot and hopefully we'll come towards you. Yes, hopefully. Fall. Yes. We'll talk, we want to talk, it up. We wanna, we definitely wanna get back to Idaho. There's a big need for uh, people to come to competitions like this. Yes. Um, no matter if you're in LA or if you're in Idaho Falls or Twin Falls, <laughs> it doesn't matter, everybody needs a voice, you know. And needs to know more about hip hop. Right. That's what we spoke a lot about. Um, right. It's very hidden in Idaho. It and is. And there's nothing wrong with that, they just need to open their minds to understand it's not all gangster rap, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> If they can bring a commencement speaker as a dancer, then gosh darn it, they can do a more. Darn it! We're good Will it curse? people. <laughs> We're Let's good people. We're good. Just give us a chance. <laughs> well, thank you. Any shout outs you want to give to anybody? Um, shout out to my crew. We are heroes. I wouldn't be where I am without you. Um, and seriously, everybody along the way who's made it happen in my life would not be where it is without a million people. So I can't even thank everybody. But, um, RaquelOlander.com, follow me, <laughs> Raquel Olander. Follow. And thank you. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Peace.